Brian, how would you describe this atmosphere with the fans right now? Oh, it's electric in here right now. The fans still coming in, but a great crowd on hand, obviously. Stanford hosting and looking to make it to the second weekend once again, but Houston brings a lot of energy themselves. So we, you guys were talking about it last night. They seem so loose all night long. And that's that's how I would describe them all throughout warmups and, and leading up to first serve right here. They're loose and they're not going to back down from this challenge of having to go up against Stanford. First year in the Big 12 for head coach David Rare and team. They tied for fourth place in the end in the final standings. With 13 teams in that conference, though, moving up to the Power 5 conference like that, very impressive. Stanford, meanwhile, won the Pac-12 back-to-back seasons. Their 24th conference title in the history of the program, 21st in the Pac-12. So it's a Big 12, Pac-12 face-off here as Anna Pringle will start with service. Set. Big swing, and it's a quick kill for Houston. Kenna Sauer continues on her successful night from yesterday. 18 kills, already won tonight. Yeah, no surprise. Houston's going to go to her early and often here tonight. She has to have another phenomenal match to have a shot at the upset. Now serving. Miner, a tussle at the net, and she wins the battle. Set her the year, and for good reason. She's so dangerous right there at the net. She's got a couple of kills on the season. <laughs> very, very versatile. Now at the service line. Miner had 39 assists yesterday. Off the block, handled by Ogilvy. Back set to Kip. Surviving are the Cougars. Free ball. Over to Baird this time. Nice dig. Miner with the dig. Kendall Kip. The save by Sauer. Houston wins the battle. What a rally this early in the first set. And you can tell early on that block is going to be ferocious for Houston. And it's what's going to allow these long rallies. And if Houston can get a lot of those over the course of the night, they're going to be in this match. Got to give credit to Kenna Sauer on that dig as well. The diving attempt. She had nine yesterday, just one away from a double-double. Minor back set to Baird. In there on the back line. The Cardinal answer to tie things up at two. When you're hot, you're hot. 15 kills last night for Baird. And she brought up the sniper, found the back corner of the court right there. That was perfectly placed. Hit 591 as well yesterday. One service ace. Katie Baird came to play. Serving now. Rolls it over. Ogilvy with the set. Over to Rubin. And it's long. But it looks like the whistle blown. Houston touch on that one. So Stanford takes the lead. Just barely getting it over the block. Stanford using their size early in this one to try and get it over top. Barrett again. This time long, the service error. Service error. Makes it even for the Cougars. Cougars lost the first set yesterday to UC Santa Barbara, but then came back and won three in a row. I think we saw really what that battle tested experience has taught them in the Big 12. Resilient bunch. Service error this time for the Cougs. Stanford up four to three. Stanford, by the way, in their white uniforms. Houston in black. Liberos flip that around. And speaking of, Ogilvy now at the service line for Stanford. Sauer, the set. Off the block, and Jackson making her presence known. Yeah, Jackson had a great night last night as well. 16 kills, 11 digs. Houston, it's more of a, a two or three player attack. Stanford, aside from what Bear did last night, really spread it out. Second team all Big 12 this year was Jackson. Big dig by Ogilvy. Over to Rubin. Long. Cougars now take the lead five to four. Yeah. 
And at the line is Abby Jackson. Seen her at the net, we're seeing her at the line. Into the net this time. That was a problem last night for Houston. 10 errors at the line. They did have a bunch of aces. They had eight to go with the 10 miscues, but that's gonna be a, something to keep an eye on here in this one. You cannot give the Cardinal three points. Two service errors for Houston so far. Stanford has the one. Kendall Kitt at the line now. Sauer off the block, recovered by Stanford. Francis, the tip. Diving, but can't get to it is Houston. So Francis gets the point. Stanford. Sammy Francis, just a ton of height to say the <laughs> least on this Stanford team. A large Stanford team, very tall, and they are tough to beat at the net. And they block it here this time. Like clockwork, Ruben and Francis handle their business. You're talking about the size, and that's, again, what makes this such a fun matchup. A lot of size for Houston. That's why their block is one of the best in the NCAA. But Stanford is coming out strong at the net. 7-5 Cardinal. Kendall Kipp continues serving. In there for an ace. First ace of the night for both teams, and Stanford now with a three-point lead. I mean, are we surprised Kendall Kipps got the first ace of the night? <laughs> I'd say no. You're One right One of the best that. servers in Stanford history. <laughs> She's already number seven all time. As that one goes wide from Sauer. So 9-5 Stanford. Kendall Kipp actually, as of yesterday, became solo in that solo spot, number seven in the top ten program history in aces. She just tied it up now at number six with her 129th. That one goes long. A pair of service errors each. Now serving for the Cougars, number 11, Rachel Tullis. Rachel Tullis, a grad student out of Texas, serving. Minor the back set to Francis, slams it down. Sammy Francis does it again. <laughs> she was a little quiet last night, but early on, the way they're rolling her out, kind of in that opposite fashion, and a couple of big early kills for Sammy Francis. Just three kills last night, but had five blocks, was very key. Led the team along with Kendall Kipp in that category. Sauer, a little off balance, but handles it. Minor back set. Big swing. Francis cannot be stopped. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Go right back to that, and Francis saw the seam right there, kind of inside of that defender for Houston. That was the libero Georgiatis. Just could not handle it. By the way, three-time libero of the year in her conference as that service error is added to the tally for Stanford. But Kate Georgiatis, I mean, two-time libero of the year in the American, then becomes the Big 12 libero of the year. So expect some tough defense now from her tonight. Houston, 18, Annie, Cook. Annie Cook now. The senior out of Texas. Minor, back to Baird. Big dig, but out of play. Stanford now with a dozen. And they're efficient too, right? I mean, they're hitting 417 already here in this first set against the top 50 defense in the NCAA, top three in the Big 12. Stanford came in to this weekend into the postseason, leading the nation in hitting percentage, 316. Just long, but a touch it appears by Stanford, so the point goes to Houston. Kenneth Sauer, huge asset for Houston yesterday. The 18 kills we mentioned, nine digs, six blocks, five service aces. Vicini gets it done. McKenna Vicini adds to the tally. Not often are you going to see a little gap between Jackson and Morin at the net, but that's exactly what Vicini found. Kind of trying to split the difference, go through them, but instead it got just enough of them to deflect it down on their side. Puccini had six kills last night, hit 500. 
That is dug up by Jackson, who then rolls it over. Miner over to Baird, off the block. Houston saving it, but a free ball. Ruben to Miner, to Vicini again. Back to back for McKenna Vicini. You go long set, long set, long set, and then right there, Miner, the quick set, boom, right into the center for Vicini. Well done by the card. They connected with that really, really well. I mean, the finesse that Cami Miner has is unmatched. Set, Jackson, off the block, out of bounds, and this time the Cougars answer. 14 to nine, and Houston will get a chance to serve. It's Kate Georgiatis, the senior, another Texas native. Miner cross court to Kip. Beautifully placed. Kendall Kip continues to be dynamic. Few players in the country better at finding the seams than Kendall Kip. She delivers. She continues to the back to back Pac 12 player of the year. Stanford now the first of 15. They lead Houston by six. The Cardinal leading by. Six, and McKenna Vicini has been one of the very efficient hitters so far in this match. Vicini two kills, Sammy Francis with three, and the Cardinal hitting 600 early on against this fantastic Houston defense. They came to play. Katie Baird. Set. Rolled softly, but handled by Ogilvy. Rubin off the block. Miner with the back set to Kip. Tools the block, Kendall Kip adds another one. So now Kip up to double figures, and Houston's starting to run into a situation where if Kip gets hot, I mean, Francis and Vicini have already been red hot. You can't stop so many different attackers. Relentless is the word that comes to mind. Baird again. Slammed down by Ruben, what a read. Elia Rubin's second kill of the night. Stanford now 17 to nine. Katie Baird tipped off the net, recovered, hit over and rolled by Jackson. A little out of system, softly hit by Ruben. What a great read by the sophomore. Just a lot of open real estate right now in the middle of this Houston defense. And it seems like when Houston is getting Stanford coming, you know, getting them out of their system, it seems like it's having an adverse effect on Houston when Stanford then returns it back the other way. It's tough. I mean, one of the best offenses in the country, again, leading the nation coming into this one in hitting percentage as a group at 316. And to your point, 632 so far tonight. I mean, that is tough to go up against. Well, and that's where Houston runs into some trouble because you're so used to seeing players like Baird, players like Kip be the ones leading the Stanford offense. If all of a sudden you have Ruben and Francis and Vicini and, and they're just as hot, I, I don't know how you stop basically every single player on the floor. And so that's what David Rayer is really having to work on right now with Houston, trying to figure out how to get them back into their defensive system so that they can cover up these seams because right now there's just a lot of space on the floor. No blocks tonight just yet for the Houston Cougars. They're hitting 214 as a team. Five kills compared to Stanford's 13. So they're looking to turn up that offense as well as get that defense, defense in check. Stanford band though, definitely making their presence known as usual. Do they ever not have fun? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think it's possible. Very unique, to say the least. Truly one of a kind. <laughs> and that's what they say when they announce, like, at halftime at football games, the one, the only, uh -huh. Leland Stanford Junior University Marching Band. The Good to have them for the postseason. Back at it on the court with Katie Baird still at the line. Free ball for Stanford. Hit over by Vicini, but recovered by Cougars. Jackson off the block. Saved by Ogilvy. 
Now Kip hits it over. Stanford comes out on top. Houston a little slow getting back to the net on that one. And that allowed the easy roll over the net and into that open soft spot right in the center of the floor. But what a save by Ogilvy. I mean, we keep talking about the success out of system that Stanford is having. Imagine when they're in system, right? Yeah. They're even more lethal. 19 to nine. Set, slam down. What a dig by Miner. Ogilvy helps it out. And once again, Kendall Kip. Wow, Stanford cannot be stopped. I mean, listen, if you were to draw up a perfect way to start a match, this is about as good as it can be for Stanford. They're in the right place at the right time, and they're taking advantage of every single opportunity Houston's given them. Pac-12 setter of the year to the libero of the year to the player of the year on that one as this service goes long from Katie Baird. Houston reaches double digits, looking to chip away at this deficit here in the first set. But 15 kills to one error so far for Stanford. I mean, they're putting on an absolute clinic here in Maples. So impressive. And Morgan Yonda, the grad student out of Katy, Texas, at the service line. Ruben off the block. Kip recovers. Cross court. Wide from Ruben. Houston with back to back points. Yeah, they haven't done this since early in this first set. So if anything for Houston, it might be too little too late, but give yourself some momentum going into the second set. That's right, something they pride themselves on is how they react. And McKenna Vicini reacted well to that set from Miner. Another quick one right there in the middle. And every time Miner's gone quick tonight, right to one of the middles for Stanford, pretty sure she's batting a 1,000 when that happens. Timing, got to be precise. Ogilvy. Tip attempted and falls in. Cougars showing a bit of life here late in the first set. And the one thing we know about Houston is they're not going to go away quietly. You, you brought it up earlier. They lost the first set last night. They're a resilient bunch. So they're, they're not going to go down quietly. Off the net, minor back set. Kendall Kip makes it 22. Thunderous. I mean, Kendall Kip just absolutely laid it down with that one. And even if Abby Jackson were in the way, I think that one would have just eaten her up. Now serving. Sauer off the block. This time, it's Francis once more. Add another one for Sammy Francis. And just what a night so far for Sammy Francis. What a night for Elia Rubin, McKenna Vicini. So many other players on this Stanford attack that you don't expect to come out and, and lead the way offensively. That's why Stanford's number two ranked team in the country. They're a one seed, and, and that's why they're going to be a really, really tough out. And you know, I, the expectation for this team, right, is, is you're going to get to at least the second weekend, and you should be getting to Tampa. That's what their what their sights are set for. And Houston, right now, you know, yeah, they're in trouble, but get composed. You'll be fine. And we got a lot of volleyball left to go here tonight. And you know, Houston. They studied the tape from last year's match. They know what went wrong. And I think in a lot of ways, how it's going here in this first set, you can draw parallels to what happened last night against Santa Barbara, where they were getting outplayed early. And then they just kind of flipped that script. And the last three sets of the night, Houston was the better team. Definitely have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder when you have that sort of rematch scenario. For Stanford, largely the same team in terms of starters on the court as they were a year ago. For Houston, a few transfers that have been a big impact. Kenneth Sauer, Nena Mbanu, and Katie Corelli all coming with some excellent experience. Texas Tech for Sauer, Mbanu from Louisville, and Ole Miss is where Corelli came from. Some great experience to bring in for a team that's the first year in a Power Five conference. And they're old too, right? And that helps. <laughs> when you've been around for four or five years playing, and you have all that postseason experience that helps you in moments like these. Kendall Kitt. 
Big hit, but blocked by Stanford, but beautifully read and executed. Rachel Tullis fighting back. Yeah, that was excellent awareness by Tullis to just kind of react to that one quickly and somehow at the same time have the vision to look over on that end of the floor and see it was wide open. She's serving now. Minor to Ruben. Off the block, falls in fairly. And all of a sudden, it is set point for the Cardinal. Ruben now back to serve as the Cardinal fans are on their feet here in Maples Pavilion. To win the block, and the Cougars are still in this one. That's something you come to expect out of any postseason team is that they are going to fight until the very last play, very last serve, very last everything. They will, and if there's someone they want back at the line to potentially go on a little bit of a run, Annie Cook's a pretty good one. Senior from the Woodlands. Minor to Kip. Big time dig by Cook. Set. Recovered by Stanford. Over to Baird cross court. Jackson bringing it back. Sauer dumps it over and it's long. But a touch from Stanford and it's a point for Houston. They have 15 trailing by nine. Just enough of one and again, that's really kind of the second long rally we've had here tonight. Both have gone to the Cougars. They want to get Stanford worn down. Miner with the dump to seal the deal. First set is in the books. 25-15, it goes the Cardinal way. I mean, that was just great. Hadn't done it all night. A couple jousts that she won, but the first dump over like that, Cammie Miner having herself a nice night. We talked about the versatility. She just continues to impress. She'll get digs, she'll get assists, she'll get kills. What a leader for this team. And Kendall Kipp has been an epic addition to this Stanford team ever since she stepped foot on this campus. Yeah, you want to talk about kills. She's leading the way with five so far, hasn't had any attack errors, only two for Stanford on the night. They've just been so fantastic. And Kendall Kipp, no surprise, she's having a nice night. Stanford up 25-15, one set to nothing. We are back inside Maples Pavilion. Brian Brownfield and Jenna Becerra with you on the call tonight. Stanford all over Houston in the first set in the second round of the NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament. The score, 25-15. And Jenna, well, the way that Stanford came out, a lot of different players played a key role, but Sammy Francis was really good. I mean, four kills on the night already. Perfect in hitting percentage currently. I mean, no errors, four attempts that she's had so far. She's one of the few that's not a senior or a grad student, a fifth year for Stanford, so still part of that future for the Stanford program as well. How does Houston try to settle themselves down and get back into this thing? I think they started to get in a little bit better of a groove offensively. They ended up hitting 304 as a team in the first set, no blocks. And so you have a team like Stanford hitting 562 collectively with 20 kills on the night you got to kind of up that defense. And one key person for that will be Morin because she had led the team in blocks in 19 of the 28 matches that they have played, including last night. So she's going to be someone to look to for that defense. Kellen Morin, sixth in the Big 12 in blocks this season. And when you pair her with Abby Jackson up there on the net and a couple of others, boy, they have a ferocious time at the net but Stanford so far tonight they have found ways to beat it every single time 20 kills in the opening set and just two errors Morgan Yonda will serve it for Houston as we get things ready in set number two the teams have switched directions and Yonda puts it into play minor set it's blocked back onto the Stanford side Baird tries again and Baird lands it in the corner Katie Baird, wow. I mean, coming off leading the team with 15 kills yesterday. She's been a little more sneaky with her productiveness so far in this game, but 
she's going to be a key person always for the Stanford team. You don't want to say quiet with three kills already in this one, but it feels like it the way the Stanford offense has been rolling. Here's Anna Pringle on the service. The set by Yonda, a back set for Jackson. The Cardinal keep it afloat. They go back for Baird. It's blocked, and Stanford gets it over. Jackson is going to win it for Houston. Great effort by Stanford, but again, the longer the rally goes on, Houston has the advantage. Man, that effort from Pringle and Rubin on that were fantastic, but I like that Houston finished the rally. They, they stayed focused, and they just got it done in the end. Abby Jackson back to serve from Gig Arbor, Washington. It's dug out by Baird. Quick set, and once again, it's McKenna Vicini on the quick set by Miner. 2-1 Stanford. That has been working for them so far in this postseason. And it's just so much, so much precision that's required on that. The timing of it from the set from Miner to Vicini timing it to smack it down. You really have to be in a rhythm. Yonda set near side. It's tapped over the net and racing in is Ogilvy. Now Baird gets a swing and Baird's going to have her second kill of this second set. A huge swing by Baird, but wow, what a save by Elena Ogilvy. I mean, this is what makes her <laughs> the libero of the year in back-to-back -back years for the Pac-12. Impressive. And then set up so perfectly, almost like it was in system for Stanford. <laughs> So Miner is back with another. Just over the net on the line drive. Yonda, they'll go to the backside. It's kept up. Oh, I thought it was on the pancake by Miner, but it was not. It dropped in, and Houston has its second point of this second set. You gotta respect that she tried to sell it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely respect that. So Georgiatis back to serve. Three serving, or two serving three Houston in front. Ogilvy on the receiving end. It's Kendall Kipp off a deflection, the open space in the back end of the court, and Kendall Kipp leading all players tonight with six. She's warmed up at this point, let's say, hitting 667 so far tonight. Incredible. Sanford trying to remain perfect all time against Houston. Long service by Baird. That's a service error. And that's the fifth error of the night for Stanford at the line. It's three to four. Fifth error to just one ace. Couple of errors for Houston as well. No aces, but just something to keep an eye on. To your point, the freebies are the ones that hurt, especially this late in the season. Annie Cook to do it for Houston. Down low, Baird. Minor all the way across for Ruben. It's deflected, and Houston keeps it up. There's a back set for Mbonu, and it's alive on the Stanford end. Once again, Elia Ruben getting involved. And she looked cross court but kept it true and lays it down for the kill. Great vision by the sophomore, what, the only underclassman in this starting squad for Stanford. Five kills just behind Kendall Kipp now offensively, hitting 300 on the dot. Elena Ogilvy on the service. One arm, it's set up and it's gonna get over the net and it's gonna do the job. Well, that didn't look pretty, but it seems like tonight when the teams have been out of system, it's worked and Houston gets another point to get back in this thing and trim it down to a one point deficit. And if you're Stanford, you gotta expect them coming back even harder in this second set after dropping that first one. We saw it yesterday, see it again today. From the back row, Ogilvy down low, Miner with a quick touch, and Kendall Kipp got it over the net for Stanford, and she wins the joust, and she's got another kill. A lot of back and forth play right there at the net, but Kendall Kipp standing tall above everyone. Kendall Kipp just continues with the momentum that she has had, hitting 545 now, but still no errors so far tonight. Just two attack errors apiece for both sides, but for Stanford, those kills are piling up, and Cami Miner has another. That's her second of the night. And it's now seven to four Stanford as they start to open this thing up a little bit. 
talked about the versatility of Cami Miner and just the ability to run the offense. Her vision on the court is second to none. Kendall Kipp with another line drive serve. It goes long. Six errors tonight for Stanford. And a bunch of them here in this set, keeping Houston in it. Now serving for Houston, number 25, Kellen Morin. So Kellen Morin will serve, lofts it across the net. Miner waits for it. The back set, it's dug out and it goes back over to the Stanford side. We'll try it once more, off the official, and it's out. Sammy Francis couldn't keep that one inside the black lines, and back-to-back -back points now for the Cougs. Coming within one, Houston giving themselves an opportunity to stay in this set. Stanford keeps it up. It's Rubin. And now dug out down low by Morin. Miner waits. Over for Rubin again. It goes off of the scoreboard, and that's going to be a point for Stanford. That thing got way up there. <laughs> We've seen that a couple of times throughout the season and even in the postseason already. I think it speaks to the power behind some of these swings from these hitters. Not often going to make a difference, but it did on that one. Stanford up, eight serving six. Rubin on the serve. Cook with the set. Met at the net. Miner was there, but give Abby Jackson a kill, the Charles Wright Academy graduate. And it's seven to eight. Houston back within one. Jackson came into this match just over 50 kills away from a career 2,000. She also has over 5,800 attack attempts. Second in program history. Baird to the middle. It finds some real estate past the Houston block. You're talking about Abby Jackson, and she has played in so many sets and matches in her career. And, and Houston, I said it earlier, they're an old team. Four graduate players are starting in this match here tonight. That experience helping them out big time as that one goes long again on a Stanford serve. That one from Anna Pringle, and it's eight to nine. Experience something really that both squads bring to the table as well. Stanford in particular, only one underclassman as we mentioned in the starting seven. Houston also bringing in that experience from some other conferences with the transfers as well. Jackson, the all-time leader in serves in Houston history, had that serve. It's alive on Houston's end. She comes in from the back row, spins it over the net. Dug out by Ogilvy on a dive, and there's Baird once again. Katie Baird coming to play in the second set. The angle on that hit from Baird. First of all, Ogilvy doing what she does best, but then Katie Baird just slams it down. Man, it's really pick your poison at the net yeah. with the Cardinal. Baird at six foot three, no trouble getting over that dangerous Houston block that still does not have one on the night. It's Corelli. It goes off the antenna. And once again, we go back and forth, back and forth. Stanford gets one. Houston answers. They're within one. It's 10 to 9. A lot of credit to the Cougars for coming out in this second set and making some adjustments. They're hitting 455 in this set, a huge improvement from the first. Katie Baird! Well, right now they don't have an answer for Katie Baird. That's the only issue, <laughs> as Baird is now tied with Kendall Kipp for the Stanford lead with seven kills. Uh, they're feeling 22. Katie Baird just continues on the attack. She now leads with Kendall Kipp with seven kills apiece. And five here in this second set. She serves. Tapped off the backside of Kenna Sauer. Kendall Kipp with the tip, as we heard here inside <laughs> Maples. It's 12-9. The tip from Kipp, a classic. That's just reading it really well, too. Noticing spatial awareness. Yeah, she was on her way down when she got a piece of that one. Didn't meet it at the apex. Another one near the scoreboard. Comes back down to earth. And Corelli sends it long, played by Stanford. Rubin, give her another. Wow. <laughs> Just when you think it's going to be Katie Baird taking over, Rubin comes right back. 
Well, now we have three Stanford players, all with seven kills, with match high seven kills. Kip, Ruben, and Baird all together. It's like when one does something, here comes the next. And Stanford up by four now, their largest lead here in this second set. Houston has to keep it close. From the back row, Jackson! And the Cardinal almost got the block. What a recovery. Kendall Kip backside. And down low was Yonda to get that one. Now it's Sauer. Minor quick set, answered by Houston again. Long rally, exactly what Houston wants. Ruben to the back corner. <laughs> Elia Ruben with eight tonight. And Stanford up by five. What a read on this from Elia Rubin, just finding that sweet spot in the back corner. Gosh, we see the power, but we can see those strategic decisions being made in real time. So Baird on another serve. It's 14 serving nine. Line drive over the net. Yonda over to Sauer. It's going to be blocked out of bounds. So give Sauer a kill. She's got six to lead the Cougars tonight. And they are in double digits. 10 serving 14. Sauer, we keep saying, led the team yesterday so in kills, but had a decent amount of errors as well. She had 11, so she actually only hit 130. If she can get going and be a little bit more efficient, that'll be key for the Cougars. On the season, Sauer hits just below the Houston team average, so high volume for sure. Speaking of high volume, keep feeding Kendall Kip. She's at eight, she hasn't had any errors. What a start for Stanford. They win the first set, and they're up 15 to 10 here in the second set. And Kendall Kipp once again delivering. Kendall Kipp, one of the best. We'll be back on ESPN+. Plus. Stanford is up 15 to 10 here in the second set, and Elena Oglevy is a big reason why. She's been huge for the Cardinal her entire career, and actually 18 digs on the night. That 18th one puts her in the number four spot all time for total digs in the Stanford program history. She has been excellent. We've been talking all night about this ferocious attack for Stanford and Kip with eight, Ruben with eight, Baird with seven, but Elena Ogilvy serving here. She has been a huge reason why the Cardinal have a shot at the net. And it's won by Kellen Morin, who just stood tall over everybody else and pushed that one down. So Houston comes out of the timeout and gets it back within four. Morin at 6-4. Did a great job here, the junior, of reading that really well. See, catching Kip off guard a little bit. Again, if we can see her and Sauer get going a little bit, that'll be huge. It's back to the corner on Stanford's end. They rally it across. Set by Cook. Again, Ogilvy with a great dig, and off a deflection, another kill for Elia Rubin. Tooling the block was fantastic, and the digs that we're seeing from Ogilvy, by the way, she's diving forward to pancake him. She's reading it high right at her head. I mean, what a range that she has. So Kendall Kip to serve. Stanford up 16-11, and a fault as she went over the line. So that's the eighth service error of the night for Stanford. That's the one area they have not been great in, but other than that, everything else has been flawless. Yeah, only three errors in hitting. And another kill, this one for Sammy Francis. It's just efficient. You know, we've seen the rallies tonight that have gone long, how Houston has had the advantage in those, but so often tonight, Stanford's just not letting it get long. Dig, set, kill. Sammy Francis at 6-6 too. What a presence at the net. Another one long. Ninth service error tonight. It's 17-13. Stanford's still out in front. As Morgan Yonda checks on, and Yonda will jog back there to serve. Sam Houston State transfer. Yonda in her second year here with the Cougars. With Houston in its first season in the Big 12. No real drop off for them. Miner swipes it over the net, but it's read well by Houston defensively. There's Jackson, tips it over. Then it went off the shoulder, I believe, of Francis, and a four-touch scenario for the Cardinals. So Houston gets back-to-back -back points, and it's 17 to 14. 
Cougars have an opportunity to close this gap a little bit. They have some momentum on their side. Good hard serve, Miner. The set for Baird. And Katie Baird has another kill. She's up to eight tonight. Just when it seems like Houston's on the verge of getting things back on their side, Stanford reclaims momentum. And the best teams do that, right? Like when they give up a point, it's how do you respond after that? And they do a great job in staying focused. Pringle on the serve for Stanford. Jackson, powerful swing, but in deep was Ruben. Kendall Kipp from the back, too strong. And again, we continue to flip-flop. Sanford has not been able to pull above four here in this set. It's 18 to 15. Something that is a benefit for Houston this year is having moved into the Big 12, they're really more battle-tested than ever. They had nine ranked matches earlier this year that they played, including some teams in their conference, BYU, Baylor, Kansas, Texas. It's been a big help for them. McKenna Vicini throwing one down for her fifth kill of the night, and it's 19 to 15. Yeah, you look at the records, Jenna, from last year, and you go, well, Houston won 30 matches last <laughs> year. You'd think that dropping down to 19 would be a step back, but when you look at the competition they played this year, still finishing up there, uh, what, fifth overall in the Big 12. That's, that's no, no small fe uh, feat. Highest preseason ranking ever, too, in program history at 19. And a large part of the reason why Kenna Sauer, one of her best of the night right there, going cross court, making it 19 to 16. Highest preseason ranking. They got all the way up to 13 over the course of the season after breaking into the polls last year, first time since 1994. This program is on the rise as that one tickered off the net. It's going to result in a service ace, the first of the night for Houston. They're within two. Houston's not going to back down on this one, and you mentioned it with Kenneth Sauer, also bringing in that Big 12 experience coming from Texas Tech. Very familiar with the conference and can bring that mentality and experience to this team. Miner for Kip. Throws it into the opening of the middle of the court. Has another kill. Stanford the first to 20. Kip back in it. Had a couple of miscues, but then right back to adding points to Stanford's tally. You know what she had to do on that one? Just get it over the block. For Sauer, deflected at the net, giving Chase as Ogilvy. She won't get there. And again, the Cardinal unable to go on a run to open things up. Houston battling tough here in the second set. They're down two. Starting to see why Kenneth Sauer is a three-time Big 12 first team honoree. Obviously, this year with Houston a couple of times at Texas Tech. Annie Cook. Minor in the middle. Quick set. And once again, McKenna Vicini from Cami Minor. That has worked all night long. Feeding the middle, that has been something that has been effective for Stanford. It's the quick set. Minor and Vicini have had a great connection so far in the NCAA tournament yesterday and today. Get a load of some of these numbers here, Jenna. In the first set, it was 20 kills and two errors for Stanford. Here in the second set, 20 kills and two errors. This attack has just been unstoppable tonight for Stanford. Unreal. 5.45 in the match, 5.29 in this current set. I mean, what more can you ask for if you're head coach Kevin Hambly? Stanford battle tested as well, and they're looking to make it to the Sweet 16, and that's something that's become an expectation for this program. Eight of the last 10 years, they've made it to the regional finals, which means they have finished fifth or better in the NCAA tournament eight out of the last 10 years. That is impressive. And after getting to the quarterfinals last year, the way this trajectory is going, it looks like Kevin Hambly's squad has a shot to make it out to Tampa this year. It would be their 10th national championship that they are chasing. The last one was back in 2019. So some of these fifth years, a part of that program at that time and know what it takes to be that successful. 
And that's something that Coach Hambly talked about. When you come to Stanford and you play volleyball here, a national championship is assumed to be one of the goals. It is something that you are assuming you are shooting for at all times. And he said they want to be great and they stay hungry to learn. More NCAA championships, tournament wins, championship appearances than any team in the country here on the farm. 21 to 18, Stanford in front, looking to go up two sets to none. And Elena Ogilvie on the serve. It's dug out low, Cook with a running set. Sauer goes cross court, nicely done by Kenna Sauer. Coming out of the timeout. And again, it's a two point set. Kenna Sauer getting going, it is helping this offense as a whole, going right after one of the best liberos in the country. Sauer with six kills here in this second set. Ogilvy the reception, it's Kendall Kipp in the middle, dug back over to Stanford's end. Miner pushes to the near side for Rubin, blocked back to Stanford's end, and that one's gonna land just inside the lines for Sammy Francis. The touch by Houston gives Sammy Francis another opportunity to add points. I mean, her she's hitting nearly 600 in this match. Oh, check that, 625 now with that update. <laughs> Don't jip her. Make sure you get the number exactly right. It's trending up. Jackson, it was deflected. Ruben to the backside for Sauer. Cook, back set. And Banu right here towards us at the table. Nena Mbanu makes it a 22 to 20 score here in the second set. Mbanu, another transfer that's been a big time impact. You'd look at this, her tooling the block at the net. You see the power behind that swing. So Houston's gonna make a service substitution. Alana Torres Rivera, native of Pearlin, Texas, and a graduate of Glenda Dawson High will come on to serve, try to give the Cougars some life that is quickly taken away by Elia Rubin. And Stanford two points away. Elia Rubin, someone who I think is underrated on this Stanford team, and that's because of how much talent there is across the board on this roster, but she is really making her presence known. Match high, 10 kills. And just a sophomore, so she's going to be here for a couple more years. Rubin on the serve. Cook backs at Mbanu. Deflected up front, played in deep. Rolling out and getting another one of Sammy Francis. They rolled her out wide, and the fans inside Maples once again to their feet. They'll have to stay there for a little bit longer, however, as David Rare has called a timeout. Kind of a use it or lose it situation here for Houston, knowing that set point is on the way for Stanford. I think it's a good moment, too. I mean, you see the big swing from Sammy Francis and these hitters on the Stanford team. You need sometimes just to take a breath, and that's what this is for. Good moment for Houston. They're only trailing by four. I mean, when you look at the first set and consider that they lost by 10, they, they've definitely improved on a few things here in the second set. Well, if you can allow a team to hit 542 against you and you're still in the set, that's impressive, and that's what's going on here in this second set. Stanford 525 in the second specifically, but Houston's up to 367. They're not playing poorly. The no. only thing they can't do is block Stanford. Right, that's been something that's missing. The missing piece of the puzzle for Houston in terms of being able to actually get the lead a little bit more often and keep this in as a close one. I would say too, I mentioned earlier, it's tough when you're, you have someone like Elena Oglevy who's diving. Some of these swings are excellent. They're even placed really well. And she just makes these diving digs and attempts. And she actually has 10 digs on the night. I want to correct from earlier. So she's seven away from tying that number four all-time spot for Stanford in program history. But the way tonight's going, she just might get there. They rise to their feet in Maples. Set point on the way in set number two. And it's Elia Rubin back to serve. Third on the team in aces this year. Trying to end it for the card. Dug out, Cook, back set, Mbanu, and Kendall Kipp is right there. Minor for Baird, deflected. Ogilvy covered well. Sammy Francis <laughs> wins it for Stanford in the second set, 25 to 20. 
And the card up 2-0 here over Houston and closing in on advancing the next weekend. What an exclamation point to end this one. Ruben has been fantastic with double digit kills on the night. Very impressive for Stanford. So the Cardinal up 2-0, 25 to 20, your second set score. We'll be back with the third set on ESPN Plus. So Anna Pringle in for the Cardinal at the service line. Tip, successful, a quick point for the Houston Cougars. They're coming out firing. Yeah, and look how fired up they are being led in the middle by Rachel Tolis. That's what you need. You need your veteran players to provide a spark. You need them to be fiery, passionate, and coming out getting that first point. Huge way to start for the Cougs. One of the grad students in the fifth years on this team. Season on the line, career on the line in college. And Stanford answers, tied up by Katie Baird. And just right through the block, something you don't see a whole lot of against this Houston defense, but Stanford, they have found the seams all night long. Cammie Miner at the service line. And it's right into the net. Service error, the 10th for Stanford so far tonight. Point goes to Houston. They actually have the lead for the first time in a while in this match. Rachel Tolis serving. Miner, quick set to Vicini, but an adjustment by the Cougars there. Sauer, off the block. Vicini and Baird all over it. So Houston made a nice adjustment there in covering up that quick set and then a rare block the other way. Just when something good happens for Houston, Stanford takes away that momentum and gets it back even again. Just a trio of blocks for the Cardinals so far tonight. Houston still looking for their first. Back set, big swing recovered by Houston. Rolled over. Ogilvy over to Kip, tussle at the net. Hit out of bounds and the point goes to the Cougars. They regain the lead. Yeah, Sauer was right there leading the joust against Kendall Kip. And in that situation, you expect Sauer to lay back, let Kendall Kip decide where it's gonna go, but instead she went up and met her at the net with the ball and was able to get enough of deflection on it, send it off to the side for the point. Annie Cook now at the service line. Two time all AAC when they were in the American. Another adjustment off the quick set to Vicini. Banu, huge dive and recovery from the Cardinal. Ruben over and in the back corner. Elia Ruben continuing to surge. So then you see the adjustment that Stanford makes as you see that Houston's doing a better job of covering up closer for those quick sets. So now Stanford attacking long towards the back corner. Oglavy, short serve, slammed. Kellen Morin stepping up. <laughs> You're not able to get one past Elena Oglavy often, but that one just ate her up right through her, could not react to it quickly enough. Great sign of life for Kellen Morin. Quick sequence, and it's an ace for Houston. Some momentum now for the Cougars as they lead by two. Yeah, their largest lead of the night, and it's coming at a perfect time. They need to find a way to seize control of this third set, and they're off to a great start. Minor. Ruben tools the block. But you like the presence, I think, by Houston at the net a little bit more so here in this third set. Yeah, they seem a little bit more confident. Not that they weren't early on, but it seems like they're going up there with a purpose, with a passion that almost was missing a little bit those first two sets. I like the way they've come out to play. Kip serves. Set over to Jackson. Almost recovered by Houston. Sammy Francis once again, a wall. I mean, look how far she and Miner got over the net and onto the other side to make a play there and tie that one up. That was perfectly done. Service again. Back set, Mbanu, Oglavy. Diving is minor, free ball here. 
Set again, quick one. And this time it's Morin again. All right, so if the middles are gonna get going here for Houston, then they become even more dangerous because that's what's been lacking tonight. They've had some presence from the outside hitters in Jackson and Sauer. Now you start getting that middle attack working and they become a dangerous squad. They had 20 less attack attempts than Stanford did now, just 15 behind. Because that point once again goes to the Cardinal. They tie it up at six. Two on the deflection at the net, and unfortunately for Houston, Jackson and Tolis just couldn't locate the ball. They were looking left, it wound up going right. Elia Rubin, 12 kills on the night, now at the service line. And it's an ace. Her first one of this match, second one for Stanford tonight. Houston's done a really good job tonight of receiving those serves, but that one just kind of, it didn't hit the center of Jackson. It got right off that right hand instead of meeting it right in the middle and shanked it off to the end. Set, Jackson, huge. She ties it up once more. But you love to see that, right? The resilience. Jackson gets eaten up on a serve. She comes back the very next play, the savvy veteran that she is, and says, I'm not gonna let that deter me. I'm gonna go up and get a, get a big kill, make a play for my team. Love that. Second team, all big 12. Huge presence for this Houston team. To Baird, and it's down and finds the floor. We're talking about a huge presence. Katie Baird made herself hurt on that one. She got up, slammed that one down. She looked towards the center and came back left. Beautiful vision of the floor by Katie Baird to get her to 10 kills. Second Cardinal to reach that double digit mark in the K column as Pringle serving. Jackson. In there. Abby Jackson and Kellen Morin really heating up here in the third set. I think she got a little ticked off after that ace came right <laughs> at her because she is swinging with a purpose right now. Back-to-back -back kills for her on Houston's side, and she found a very tight seam. There was not a big window to fit that one in. Nicely done. Houston hitting 333 as a team overall and in this set specifically. Good read, good recovery by Ruben. Over to Baird, softly hit, recovered again. Bit of a rally here, Kip. Slams it down. Kendall Kip just doesn't quit. But for a second, Houston was going to challenge a potential touch. That first one from Baird looked a little funky off her hand. They ultimately decide not to, and Kendall Kip ended that one strong. Also reaches double digit kills. Miner serves it off the net. Over to Sauer. Tools it. Point. Houston. We talked about the need for some of their leaders and their best players to step up. Kenna Sauer does so in that moment. Sauer and Jackson, the two that are going to have to carry the load here for Houston. And right now, they're doing a good job. Rachel Tullis. Oh. With the ace. Hits the top of the net and falls in there. Huge moment for Houston to retake the lead. You know, some teams in practice, they do short serve contests. That would be an all-time winner right there. You can't get any shorter than that. They will take it, that's for certain, and make it back-to-back -back aces for Tullis. Two-point lead for the Cougars. And if you're not going to be able to do it with your blocks, might as well do it with your serving. Well. That time a service error. But a couple of key points as Houston still has the lead, 11-10 to 10 over Stanford. The improvement from set to set by the Cougars has been evident. Katie Baird. Quick set. Recovered by the Cardinal. Kip rolls it over. Over to Sauer. Off the block, handled by Miner. Ogilvy to Rubin. Rolls it. Sauer. Off the block, Kenneth Sauer steps up once again. And Houston back to a two-point lead. 
they're just looking a lot more confident, and that's another one of those long rallies that's gone the way of the Cougars. If they start to wear Stanford down, this could get really interesting, not just here in this set, but beyond. That's how they're going to have to do it. They have to let these play out. Still looking for their first block of the night. They're turning it up offensively as that one's long from Kip. Houston now with a three-point lead, the largest we've seen in the match. So you can tell they're starting to gain a lot of confidence. Their focus is razor sharp. Minor to Ruben. Oh. Stuffed! What a moment for the Cougars. Morin, the block leader on this team, right there with Mbanu. It took them long enough, but they finally make their presence felt at the net. Led by Mbanu, that was a thing of beauty, and Houston's playing well. 14 to 10, Houston leading. Well, they got their first block here in the third set, but 29 kills on the match for Houston. They have turned it up. And you saw there, Jenna, in that first clip, it's been the presence of those in the middle. Kellen Morin leading the way here in this second, or in this third set. Ruben rolls it over. Back set to Sauer. Off the block. Sauer adds another one. You know, it's just that presence there in the middle that's got Stanford's defense enough off the edges. They have to respect the middle, so now it's opening up seams on the corners for the outside hitters to really do their work. And boy, are they doing it right now in this third set. Last year in the Sweet 16 here at Maples when these two teams met, Stanford won with a resounding sweep. Houston trying to take this third set to change the narrative, but it's a big one by Kendall Kipp. Stanford within four. And when things aren't going your way, turn to your best players, your veterans, and that's Kendall Kipp. She's been here forever. She's one of the best players in the entire conference. Back-to-back -back Pac-12 Player of the Years. She does it all for Stanford. Led the team with kills with 19 last year in that Sweet 16 victory. Minor back set to Kip, who fell but recovered. Free ball opportunity. Rolled over, attempting to recover Stanford, and they do it. Sauer off the block, falls in. Houston comes out on top. First of all, that was a great job by Stanford <laughs> keeping that in play. I don't know how they did, but somehow they did. Just that one arm little touch there by Ruben. But again, the longer these rallies go on, Houston has had the advantage. And they found the hole right there in the middle of the floor. And again, a five point lead for Houston. So we start to creep along deeper into this set. They've got Stanford on their heels. Hitting 381 in this set as a team. Sauer at the line. Back set to Kip. Off the block. Over to Jackson. Big time. Abby Jackson adds one. Placing it right between the shoulders of Francis and Kip. Beautifully done. And this is not a Houston team we saw the first two sets. Ruben trying to answer and does. Elia Rubin with her 13th kill of the evening. Now serving for Stanford, number 10, Kendall Kip. That brings Kip back to the line. Cardinal trailing by five. Back set, Mbanu, big time swing. Back to back points for the Cougars. And really nicely done on that back set. And Mbanu, instead of trying to go through both, she picked one. Saw the arms were a little bit outspread there for Francis. Minor to Kip. Covered by Houston. Free ball. Minor over to Ruben. Bit of a rally once more. Jackson rolls it over. The dump attempt by Miner, and she recovers it. 
Francis with the tip. Cougars rolled over by Jackson. Trying to save it is Oglavy. She almost does, but can't find another teammate. What a rally. Just relentless defense on both sides. And if Stanford would have been able to keep that up for one more touch to get it over, I think Maples would have exploded. But now a seven point lead for Houston. Nice little shot off the knuckles there by Jackson. And Vicini moving the signs out of the way too to give her some space. But you know what, Houston, the Cougars, up by seven here in the third set. What an adjustment that they have made. Their offense has been great all night. It starts with them defensively, and they're taking away that first look for Stanford. Here in this set, you know, I've noticed that a lot of the first attacks are coming from Kendall Kipp, and it seems like Houston has caught on to that. They know where she's trying to go, so every time she's been essentially marked, and they know where that ball's going, they cover, and they keep it up. And, and again, the longer these rallies go, Houston has the edge there. So Stanford is going to have to find a way to bottle up what they did in that first set, and even the second set. Quick sets back to the middle. The middles have kind of fallen apart here a little bit, not getting activated as much as they were early. Let's see them go back to the middle, spread the wealth out here, and find those seams past the Houston block. The Cougars holding Stanford to hitting 300 as a squad in this set, which isn't too shabby, but when you consider that they're hitting 489 in the match overall, you can tell it's been a bigger impact here later on in the match. Fans here at Maples Pavilion starting to get loud. All the fans, including the Houston fans, making some noise for every team this season, especially the ones who have made it to the NCAA tournament. What a ride this 2023 season has been already, but it's not done yet. Back set. Francis, recovery by the Cougars, free ball. Back set, Francis again, but this time stuffed. Jackson, Tullis. And look at the energy that Houston is playing with here that was largely absent in those first two sets. That block coming back, boy, Jackson doing that one by herself. Double digit kills gets just the second block. And another point for the Cougars. They are starting to run away with this one a bit. Yeah, quite the role reversal here in this third set. They have Stanford out of sorts right now. There was a lot of miscommunication there as to who was going to handle that after that first touch. But look at that energy they're playing with after these points, man. It, it is infectious. It's fun to watch. That's what you want to see, and that's what you expect to see to a certain degree in the postseason. Kate Georgiatis. Set from Miner from the back row, Kendall Kipp. One of her favorite things to do, she said, is that attack from the back row, and she does it beautifully. Comes in with a full head of steam, and again, that back corner was just left open as Georgiatis was up in case there was a little quick set to the middle. Rubin with the serve. The dump. Ogilvy recovered. Back set to Jackson. Kip handles it. Baird tries to stuff it. But once again, Houston stepping up the defense. This is the Houston block we were expecting to see here tonight. Ogilvy with a great job to get it back over. But then again, Couple players at the net, Numbonu, she has been fantastic here in this third set. She's turned things around defensively almost single-handedly. Talked about at the top of the set, the best players have to get going offensively and the defense has to step up. Three blocks for Houston, all in this set. Big hit, Ruben keeping it in play and it's a free ball. Over to Jackson, the tip, diving. Maintaining Stanford, and this time Katie Baird finds the hole. Well, how often tonight have we seen that rally end in a point for Houston? But Katie Baird taking advantage of all the misdirection. Right? It's going left, it's going right all over the place, and she sends it right back the opposite direction. 
Everyone had left that far end, crashed back towards her. Nicely done by the crafty vet. Houston leading 22 to 14 over Stanford at the moment. Here in the third set, Stanford took the first two. Cougars trying to extend this one at least to four. Anna Pringle back in to serve the sophomore out of La Jolla. The go-to sub for this Stanford team. Over to Jackson, off the block, recovered. Baird, big dig. Jackson again, rolls off the top of the net and falls in. Abby Jackson, 11 kills. If you ask Abby Jackson, she was probably not trying to get it off the net, <laughs> but it's a good thing that she did because it got Baird just enough off her spot. You watch it again right there, that little hesitation because she thought it was going off she thought it was going to her, then has to react to it off the net. Now serving. And long. The service error gets Stanford to 15 points. Still trailing by eight. Currently hitting 222 as a team in the third set compared to their 455 number for the whole match. Sauer. Stuffed! Vecini and Kip make their presence known. All the talk about how Houston's block has been quiet. Stanford hasn't needed to use its block tonight, but it comes to life right there at a good time. Vecini, top 10 all time in total blocks in her career here at Stanford. Tipped. Set for Miner over to Baird, tipped again. Katie Baird makes it 17 points. Houston calling the timeout. I think it's smart. You still have the six-point lead, but might need to take a breath because Stanford is starting to make some adjustments. Yeah, absolutely, and I would love to see the research on this too, Jenna. I've seen volleyball enough in my years to feel like at least 85% of the time when you call a timeout, you get the next point. <laughs> so if anything, you're almost kind of giving yourself an, another point and, and putting set point on your side, but you're right. Stanford has, has battled back to make a few adjustments here in this set. Yes, late in this set, but that's something that they can work on into what could be a fourth set. And so for, for Houston, for David Rare, try to get some of the momentum back on your side before we go to a fourth set, so that way you can scratch and claw and see if you can get this thing to go to five. We've seen Kenneth Sauer and Abby Jackson step up. The one-two punch once again in terms of kills. They were 18 and 16 respectively yesterday. 14 for Sauer so far tonight, 11 for Abby Jackson. Four players on this Houston team hitting over 300 individually. They have given themselves an opportunity here in the third set. They really have. An offense has not been the problem for them tonight. They've matched Stanford. By and large, swing for swing, they just haven't had the same volume that Stanford has had on their side. So you really got to be impressed with the, what they've done. But again, defensively, to get them to where they are now, to get David Rare's squad to get where they are now, up six here, Nina Mbanu has been fantastic defensively in set number three. Mbanu, the transfer from Louisville, huge impact in her first season at Houston. And it's an ace. For the Cardinal, coming out of the timeout, they add another one to the board. So I guess that disproves the theory. <laughs> that's the other 15% of the time. But that's a great way to come out of the timeout by Stanford. You could tell they were fired up, haven't gotten a couple points in a row. They still got it. First set of the day, or ace rather, for Cammy Miner. Off the block and falls in fairly. The Cardinals showing some life here late in the third set. Look at that presence at the net. Yeah, right there, almost steered with that left hand by Kendall Kipp. Thing of beauty, and all of a sudden it's a four-point game. Set to Jackson. Big-time dig by Rubin. Quick set to Vicini. Big-time dig by Jackson. Sauer. Long. The Cardinal now within three. I mean, we've seen the resiliency 
of Houston here tonight, Jenna. <laughs> but now we're getting a look at the Stanford resiliency to pull within three to bring some life back into this crowd here at Maples. David Rares just burned his second timeout because he knows that, you know, when a few cracks start to show, you can't let them burst through. And Stanford, right now, they've seized a lot of control here in this third set. He's got to get it back on their side. Cardinal creating a bit of their own energy, and you're right, it definitely, you can feel the ripple effect throughout Maples here and their reaction to it. They have six blocks on the match. Four have been in this set, and they've come at key times. They really have, and and, and here this this little run that they've got to get six point or to get uh, four points in a row to get back to where they are. Defense. It, it's been so much about the offense tonight. A lot of impressive offensive numbers for both teams. But when the defense is playing well, when we're seeing Oglavy all over the floor making diving digs, when we're seeing the Houston block, that's been when things have flipped. And so Stanford's defense was a little lacking earlier in this set, but they've got it back here, and it might not be too late. Want to keep it clean at the service line as well. They have 10 service errors on the day to three aces. If they can keep it clean there, they have a shot here in this third set to complete the sweep. David Rare looks on as Houston tries to extend their season. Minor serving. Back set. The dig by Stanford. Over to Baird. Tools the block. The fans erupt in Cardinal and White. Well, now Stanford turning to their best players when they know they need to. Katie Baird making an impact. 13 kills here tonight. She led the team yesterday in kills. She is tied for the lead today with Ruben. Back set. Big swing, big dig at the net. Slamming it down is Sauer. And for the first time in this match, it is set point for the Cougars. And boy, Houston desperately needed that one. Just a tough one for Cammie Miner with where she was, uh, you know, off of that dig. That ferocious dig went right back to the net. Cougar fans on their feet. Miner over to Kip. Off the block once again. Oglavy to Baird. to Sauer once more, and it's long. Stanford stays in it, they're within two. Both teams hitting around 250 in this set. Both make it 225 for Houston after that last hit. Baird serving. Tip, falls out of bounds. The point goes to Houston as well as the set. They take the third one, 25 to 22, trying to extend their season here as we head to the fourth set momentarily. Just a little bit of chaos right there at the net. You look at it, it was just barely tipped by Kendall Kip, and it heads off to the side, and Houston still alive. Big time reaction as they take the third set. Stanford still up two to one going into the fourth set. The Houston Cougars have kept their season alive, Jenna, and it was their two best players, Sauer and Jackson, who got them back in it. Really just coming alive offensively, and actually Jackson now taking the number one spot in program history in terms of total attack attempts, and we talked about needing to just create those opportunities a little bit more. Stanford had way more, 20 more actually, in fact, going into the third set attempts total in this match, but they've really turned it up, the Cougars. Kenna Sauer with six kills in that set, and Abby Jackson added five more, so 11 of the 16 kills for Houston coming from their two star outside hitters. Okay, so it seems like Stanford a little bit on their heels there in that third set. How do they get back on the attack? 
I think it's sticking to the plan, but there's a balance that you have to have as well in terms of sticking to the plan, but making the adjustments that you notice throughout the match. They've seen Houston make some adjustments. The defense has stepped up. They had three blocks all coming in that third set. So now Stanford gets to make the adjustments here in the fourth, and the great teams are able to do that. First team, the Cougars are, to take a set from the Cardinal here inside Maples Pavilion since Oregon State on November 11th. So it's been almost a month since the team has been able to take one against the card in their home building, but that's what the NCAA tournament is all about. And we're on to the fourth set. Sanford leads it two to one. And Yonda will serve it for the Cougars. All the momentum in the world following a big set number three win. Ruben the bump over for Kip. Roll shot, nobody home for Houston defensively and Stanford has the first point. Not surprising to see that one come from Kendall Kipp, who now matches Baird and Rubin with 13 kills on the night. They are really a three-headed monster. And I think, Jenna, that's one of the first roll shots we've seen tonight from Kendall Kipp. They were not expecting that. Ogilvy on the service. It goes over the net to the Stanford side following the reception. And Rubin to the back line. It's in just by a skosh. And Stanford has the first two. And you said it in the last set, a little bit more presence from Houston at the net, but it does open up the back corners, and Elia Rubin has read that nicely. So Stanford has the first two. Houston needs an answer. Yonda pushes one over for Jackson, a line drive. Too much sauce. It goes long, and it's now 3-0 Stanford. Talk about sauce. There was a lot of momentum <laughs> behind that hit. Yes. Wow. So Ogilvy again on to serve. Largest run to start a set tonight for either side. And Tullis is going to get Houston on the board here in the fourth set. Tullis another one with the four kills now in this match. She's come alive a little bit too, mentioning the couple of blocks that she's had as well. So really on the defensive and the offensive side added a little fire for the Cougars. Four kills and two blocks for the program leader in blocks all time in Houston. Dug out low, back over. Georgiatis has to dive for it. There's Sauer. It pinballs off of a couple of Cardinal. And now Houston with back-to-back -back points here in the fourth. And this isn't surprising. Seeing Houston have this kind of fight and staying in this one, they win that third set. They're starting off playing right there with the Cardinal. They had 13 matches this year against teams that made it to the NCAA tournament in 2023. 11 different teams. So they have been battle tested in and out of conference. Jackson good tight serve. Miner almost ran into the net and Kendall Kipp throws it down with authority. The angle of this hit from Kendall <laughs> Kipp, wow. You don't see it come down at a 45 degree angle like that often. <laughs> but Kendall Kipp, one of the best to do it. But before the serve, David Ray are having a conversation with one of our officials. He's talking with the line judge. And we're going to see a challenge here. And they're going to challenge, what, a touch it looks like? First challenge we've seen in this yeah. match. So they're going to look at a touch on the play. I'd love to see where that touch took place. It had to have been before the attack by Kip. I would assume so. And I guess you were talking, Jenna, about the angle of that attack. Could she have gone over and touched the net as well? Maybe that's what they're looking at here. Oh, maybe there with, okay. So Miner right at the net. I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah. Is it conclusive enough to overturn? It is. It is. So Houston gets the point. They've got three in a row. And after Stanford was up three zip, it's now 3-3. Three, three. And a successful challenge for David Rayer, the first of the night. And that's important. Now it's a tie, tied set here. 
late in the match like this, those are the moments, those small ones that are gonna make a difference. So Jackson will stay back to serve once again. With us now level early in the fourth set. And that's gonna be an ace for Jackson. Ruben couldn't dig that one out cleanly. And the Cougars have a 4-3 lead. They have more aces than service errors and that has been serving them well, no pun intended. Four to three, Jackson sends it long. You jinxed her. <laughs> the broadcaster's jinx. Back at it again. I don't know why we speak half the time. <laughs> it's tied at four. But they still do have six aces compared to five errors. That's true. The stat you dropped <laughs> is still correct. As Kendall Kipp, low line drive. Yonda pushes one over for Sauer. It was Miner who sent it back the other way. Sauer again, cross court. Kenna Sauer racking up the kills now. She's got 17 tonight. What a great spot by Kenna Sauer. Just right inside the line. Nobody home. Great vision. Tullis on the serve, sends it long. So now they're even, aces to errors. On the flip side, Stanford with the 10 errors to the three aces. So in that one category, Houston has been superior to the Cardinal. Houston's done a really nice job tonight at the line as a whole. They've won that battle. And there's number 11 at the line. Service error for Stanford, that one off the right arm of Rubin. And the Cougars back in front, six to five. So Annie Cook subs in. She'll go back to serve. And she'll retain her role as setter in this 6-2. And she's short. The second we talk about <laughs> serving, the second it becomes the story of the set. So let's move on to something else, shall we? <laughs> it's Pringle back to do the honors. Pringle out of La Jolla, she's a sophomore. All San Diego section, libero of the year, her senior year of high school. We have a clean serve and a kill for Kellen Morin. And again, Houston back in front as we go back and forth one point at a time. Kellen Morin third on the team in kills tonight with five, hitting 625. Also has a block on the night. Eight swings, five kills, that's efficient. Rolling around there was Vicini, but it was dug out by Houston. There's Jackson and going down onto her knees is Kip. Coming the other way, Baird. It goes off the side of the scoreboard, I believe, but it's kept up by Houston. Over to Kip. Minor and a back row attempt from Rubin off of a block, and Rubin has her 15th kill of the night. Elia Rubin coming right back at it. The service error, and she comes back with a beauty. Lands perfectly. Making it tied. Morin kicking herself after that one. She was the only one up there at the net. Went up and she would have gotten it cleanly with both hands. Might have had a solo stuff. Minor on the serve. Low by Georgiadis. And she'll roll one to the back, does Morin. It's too long. And now Stanford is out in front. It's eight to seven. At this point in the match too, sometimes it's who's gonna make the mistake. We've seen that a bit with the service errors. You don't want to give away any freebies if you can possibly avoid it. Miner earns another. It was Sauer on the reception. Mbanu plays it over to Miner. Ogilvy bump set. Kip pushes it across. Kendall Kip. Boy, here in this fourth set, Kendall Kip hasn't used the rocket, but she's used the touch well. What a read on that mid-air, too. You can see she had the momentum to go with the big swing, but she sees the presence at the net and the hole further back and lands it right there. That's why she's nearing the top 10 all-time in program history and kills on the farm. Jackson from the backside got up and slammed it down to get Houston within one. Great angle by Jackson, finds that back corner. Gosh, her and Sauer have been excellent. Georgiadis on a soft serve. Minor, quick set, and it works for McKenna Vicini. 
Machini with kill number seven tonight. Stanford the first to double digits in set number four. That's a connection that had been working well for Stanford early on in this match. Houston made the adjustment a bit in that third set. Cardinal leaning back into it. Katie Barrett on the serve. Off the top of the net and it didn't get the friendly bounce to go over. And again, Stanford struggling at the line. It's 10 to nine, Houston within one. Yonda on to serve for Baird. That's her fourth error at the line tonight. She does not have an ace. That one tickered off the net and right in front of Oglevy. And we're tied up at 10 off another Cougar ace, their seventh of the night. And they're tied up again in terms of aces to errors. The little things stack up. Morgan Yonda again. Baird dangerously plays that one. Ruben blocked at the net. Tolas leading the way, and right there with her was Katie Corelli. Houston leads. That's the defense that has made the difference in these last couple of sets. No blocks for Houston in the first two. They have four on the match, the first one of the fourth set. Another one tickered off the net. Ruben went down to get it. There's Kendall Kipp to the middle of the floor. It's played well from behind by Sauer. Now over to the Sanford side. Oglevy on a bump. Kipp again, it's blocked! And all of a sudden, the Houston defense is coming to life at the net, 12 to 10. And this is that Houston defense that we have seen all season long coming to life here in the third and fourth sets. It was Jackson and Tullis there again. They bluff, another block! <laughs> and this one was Corelli by herself. Three consecutive Houston blocks. And they've got five points in a row. And it forces a timeout from Kevin Hambly. The Cardinal reeling here in this fourth set. The Houston block is strong. Wow, I mean, three blocks in the third set. They already have three in the fourth. They have turned up the defense. Houston staying alive on ESPN+. Plus. We'll be back. Jenna, the Cougars block was quiet all night, but a five-point run here for the Cougars, thanks in large part to their play at the net. Five different players have contributed to those blocks at the net, led by Rachel Tullis with number four. She already has the program record for career total blocks and block assists. She's only added to it tonight. How will Stanford respond out of the timeout? <laughs> That's how. McKenna Vicini finds the soft spot in the middle of the floor, and Stanford responds nicely to get within two. Eighth kill of the day for Vicini. Nearly five Cardinal with double-digit kills. It's impressive. They've spread the wealth here tonight. Yonda for Sauer. Back row attack lands it in. For a second, it looked like Kevin Hambly did not agree with that, but then he consulted a couple of folks on the bench, and he changes his mind. So Houston back up by three, 14 to 11, and Abby Jackson back to serve. From the far corner, Baird quickly to the middle. It was touched over by Francis. Jackson back row attack. It goes up near the lights. Baird on a bump. Roll shot over and down by Elio Rubin. The Cardinal able to work well together when they're out of system. We've seen it several times throughout this match. Excellent dig by Ogilvy. And then Ruben with the read on this one lands beautifully. Those roll shots have been working here the last set and a half for the Cardinal. Kind of gone away from a lot of those big, mighty swings. As Francis almost solo stuffed one from Jackson. Minor over for Ruben, tried to push it down. I don't know if that one ever got over the net. If it did, it was Corelli on the block, and Houston's back up by three. She was right there the whole time. Corelli all over it. Four blocks in this set for Houston. 
and an ace off the serve. Tullis has it, and it's now 16 to 12, Houston. After getting punched in the mouth in the first two sets, Houston has responded with some punches of their own. Francis gets one back for the Cardinal. The Cougars are staying in this one. Sammy Francis using that 6-6 frame to her advantage to bring the Cardinal within three. She's done well when they roll her out. Ruben on the serve. Ruben almost an ace. What an effort by Jackson and others to keep that one up. Francis again rolls. <laughs> and Sammy Francis has back-to-back -back kills. Give her 11 tonight. The fourth Cardinal with double digit kills in this match. When Francis gets going, it's hard to stop her. The card within two, 16 to 14. Ruben another serve. Low line drive, Jackson receives. Yonda, sour. Oglavy sliding to her right to make the dig. Baird waits, Baird cross court. Sour again, and she responds with one coming back the other way cross court. She has surpassed her kill number from last night. That's number 19 here in this match. Four sets yesterday in the fourth set here today. What an angle from Sauer on that one to find the hole. 25 is the season high for Sauer. 30 is her career high. That came a couple years ago back in 2021. And that season high 25, just senior day, just right. a couple of matches ago. Annie Cook on the serve. Minor, Kendall Kipp from the back row. Talk about having some authority. Kendall Kipp, that back row attack once again, strong for this Stanford team. Such a field general when she races up like that. You can see the entire floor. She can just pick out the open spot and boom. Jordan Harvey, the freshman from Utah, subs in to serve for Stanford. Deflected by Rubin, outside the antenna, and Houston gets it right back. They're up by three once more. Harvey got some time yesterday, one of three underclassmen who actually got some postseason experience in the sweep over Fresno State. Sauer on the serve. Miner pushes all the way over for Baird to the back corner. It's received by Houston. Now Jackson and a rejection at the net. It was Miner, it was Vicini, and the Cardinal stuff Abby Jackson. The versatility of Cami Miner and Vicini leading the team in blocks in this one, again, in the top 10 all time for Stanford. That's why Stanford's able to run a 5-1 and keep Miner out on the floor pretty much the entirety of the match. She served that one. Mbanu sends one long. Ruben one arm. Oh. It's kept up for a moment right over towards us. Stanford almost miraculously getting that one over, but they're not able to do so, and Houston has 19. You were ready to make that third hit over there, weren't you, Ryan? I was, <laughs> although my initial instinct is to run away from it. <laughs> I don't want some type of uh, penalty against me, or, you know, one of those cards being given. There's Baird getting it back for Stanford. But now this is the point in the match, Jenna, where you can't exchange point for point. You got to go on a little bit of a run. Fortunately for Stanford, they're only down two. Katie Baird, 14 kills. Kip with 15. Ruben with 16. They got to stay hot. Baird makes a play. He gets a chance to serve. Good line drive. Cook. Mbanu right there for Baird. Kendall Kipp pushed it down. It was received by Houston. Now Jackson, roll shot to the middle. And Houston is the first to 20. The most successful roll shots I have seen in a single set, I think, so far this season. Both sides yeah. taking advantage. Yeah, it's an impressive adjustment by both sides. We've seen a lot more of it for Stanford here in this set, but Abby Jackson digging down deep into the bag of tricks. It's Baird 
Miner, Kendall Kipp, it's blocked again by Houston. Their fifth block of this fourth set and they lead by four and that's gonna be a timeout for Stanford. The presence at the net has been a game changer for Houston. Eight blocks on the match now, all coming in the last two sets. It's so impressive what Houston has been able to do, especially when you consider where they were after the first two. I mean, they only got 15 points in the first. They played much better in the second set, but still only put up 20 points. And now they have really controlled things the last two sets against the Stanford team ranked number two in the country. That's hard to do. Extremely hard to do, and I think the blocks have been key. We talked about how they're one of the best defenses in the country. Didn't see it early on. They have brought it back here late in this match, but also giving themselves again more opportunities, more attempts on the attack has also helped. They're hitting 333 in this set as a squad, and they have 10 kills in the fourth set. And they've forced Stanford into six attack errors here in this fourth set. Stanford only has 14 on the night, so almost half of them coming in this fourth set alone. From an offensive perspective, it's been the poorest that Stanford has looked tonight. And as you said, that block is the reason why. Well, and the service errors as well for Stanford. When you have three aces compared to 12 service errors, it just doesn't quite balance out. You're giving those points away, where again, Houston has eight aces compared to seven errors. So Morgan Yonda back to serve for Houston. They are up four, they need four, to force a fifth set. What a turnaround it has been for David Rare's squad here tonight. Yonda serve. Minor for Ruben. Ruben keeps it in. Big first point back for the card. You can see Ruben unleashing some frustration there with that swing. Finds that back corner once again. Oglavi to serve with Stanford down by three. Floater. Having a reverse direction is Yonda. Sauer from the back row. Minor read it well. Ruben waits. Ruben attacks. Dug out by Georgiatis. Jackson blocked, but it went just wide. The Cardinal close to getting a combo block for Ruben and Francis, but a kill for the Cougars, and it's 22 to 18. 14 kills for Abby Jackson, 20 for Kenneth Sauer, by the way. Those two have been unstoppable as this match continues. Houston 305 on the night, their hitting percentage. Kendall Kipp blocked at the net again. And it was Sauer and Tullis leading the way. We go from wondering what happened to the block early on in this match. They've almost reached double digits now, <laughs> just in the fourth set. And six blocks alone here in the fourth set. Incredible stuff from the Cougars. Jackson a serve into the net. Eight errors tonight at the line for the Houston Cougars and perhaps that could be some type of spark that Stanford needs. Bit of a break for the Cardinal. Kendall Kipp needs to go on a run. Georgiatis, Yonda, Jackson from the back row. It touched the top of the net before it went across. And Ruben got up. Thunderous with the right hand. She is fired up. A lot of power behind this swing. And immediately looks to her teammates saying, let's go. That's one. We need three more. There's Kip. Georgiatis again on the reception. Sauer finds the soft spot in the middle. And for the second consecutive set, Houston with set point on the way. It's Rachel Tullis to try and force a fifth set for Houston. Ruben again, cross court, gets it off a deflection. Stanford's not done yet. 
Elia Rubin turning it up, 19 kills now on the night. She's going back to serve. Rubin angles one towards the corner. Jackson pushes one for Sauer, and it's blocked up front. Miner was there, so too was Francis. And Stanford is within two, and David Rare wants a timeout. And you can see the screams. They have the momentum right now mentally. Trailing by two still. This should be an interesting end to this four set either way. Blocking tonight was almost non-existent. And now, all of a sudden, both teams putting up some much more respectable totals with Houston up to nine. Stanford now has eight after, again, they were really quiet up at the net earlier on. Only a couple early on for the Cardinal as well. Two in this set, but yeah, six for Houston. That has been huge for them here in this fourth set. In addition to, you know, you have Sauer with the 21 kills, Jackson with the 14 kills, but leading the way in blocks is the all-time leader, Tolis. She's been huge. Ruben nearing a career high in kills as well. That's 21, which she did at Washington State this season. So that's something to look for if we continue play here tonight into a fifth set. They've turned to her often here in this fourth set. And as she's back to serve again, she's going to have to be a key contributor if Stanford wants to erase a pretty sizable five-point deficit late and win this fourth set and set the Cardinal to the Sweet 16. This rematch from last year's Sweet 16 has not disappointed. So we're good to go and Ruben will serve it. Stanford down two. Houston does have one more timeout. Jackson from deep. Sauer, and Sauer sends us to a fifth set. The Houston Cougars were down two nothing. And look at the celebration on the sideline for Houston as we're going to a fifth set. We're heading to the fifth set. The last two have gone Houston's way. Elia Rubin trying to get some momentum to Stanford's side. It's been a close one throughout the last couple of sets. Rubin's been fantastic trying to will Stanford back after a couple of slow middle portions of these sets. She's up to 19 kills, too shy of a career best, but the story here has been Houston and what they've been able to do, taking Stanford to a fifth set, just the fourth time this year a team has been able to do that against Stanford. Stanford's 3-0 in five setters this season, but Houston, with their play at the net, with their block, six blocks in that last set alone, they've got Stanford reeling, and I'm very curious to see what adjustments Kevin Hambly can make here because it seems like whatever he's tried to counter with, David Rare has matched him with an even better change. The defense has been key. Houston out blocking Stanford in total nine to eight right now. The first set really dominated by the Cardinal, 25 to 15. Then an improvement by the Cougars, but the Cardinal still winning it 25 to 20 in the second and back to back sets the Cougars way 25 to 22. The well, fans are on their on their feet at this point. And this is what the NCAA tournament's about, right? You love to see matches that go the distance. You love to see two well-coached teams, two of the best teams in the country, two of the top 25. The fans appreciate it. They've been wired all night long, and I can't wait to see how this one finishes up. This has been a fun night. The Cougars season ended against Stanford in the Sweet 16 last year in a sweep. All of a sudden, fast forward one year later, and they're looking for the reverse sweep here at Maples Pavilion. Elia Rubin serving for the Cardinal. Back set, Jackson off the block, recovered by Baird. Kip, free ball. Another back set to Jackson. Bit wide and Stanford on the board first here in the fifth. Oh, you could tell the Cardinal, they wanted to go after that one. Kendall Kip almost got a piece of it. And it seemed like at the last second, she kind of pulled off it, knowing that one was going wide. Staying in control, going to be key for both squads here in the fifth set. Adrenaline is pumping. 
Big block, but recovered by the Cougars. The tip attempt recovered again. Tip once more. The soft one from Jackson falls in to tie it up. Third time's the charm. They had to get it away from the side of Cami Miner because she got both of her hands on those previous two attempts. They go the other way towards Baird and found a little bit of a, of a soft spot. Tied at one. Both teams looking to score early to set the tone here in the fifth. Baird finds a spot. The diving attempt from Georgiatis. Can't get it done. Stanford leads. And you had too many defenders there for Houston towards the flag stand. They were leaving that far end of the floor wide open. Baird saw it and she attacked. Hannah Pringle in to serve. Over to Sauer, off the block, Kip handles it. Minor to Baird. Targeted, but handled. Pringle, Baird again. In there! Katie Baird, kill number 16. It's just so nicely done to get right through the middle of that block, which has been giving Stanford a lot of trouble, but they turn to someone like Katie Baird to try and reverse their fortunes. Leading by two, and it's an ace for Pringle. She is jumping up and down with her teammates as Stanford now leads by three. And I don't know if anybody saw it, but Kevin Hamley over there on the sideline, he was showing some emotion. He was fired up. He's one of the most mild-mannered guys out there but unbelievable, the Cardinal coming out hot. Leading by three in the fifth set. The Cardinal gaining some momentum here in the fifth set. That last one thanks to the ace by Anna Pringle. And everyone on the Stanford side fired up. The Maples crowd is back into it in favor of their hosting Cardinal. Kevin Hambly was fired up there going to break two. Love to see the energy from Stanford after they've been pretty quiet the last couple sets. Heard the fans chanting the Go Stanford cheers on both sides of Maples. Sauer, some contact at the net, so the point goes to Houston. Yeah, McKenna Vicini just got a little bit too eager on that one. She thought the ball was coming over, and she did not think Yonda was going to get a hand on that one. Yonda did, and so Vicini couldn't hold up and slams the arm right into the net. Tolis, service. Minor to Kip from the back row. Kendall Kip does it again. Three players with 16 tonight. And when Kendall Kip has gotten involved, it's been momentum shifts when she does something just like that. Hitting 306 on the night. Minor at the line. Back set. Big swing, big dig by Ruben. Baird tips it over, handled. Quick set, handled by Ogilvy. Again to Baird, off the block. Minor, quick set to Vicini. What a rally. Off the block again, Stanford recovers. Baird once more. And this time, it goes the Cougars' way. Stanford. That is double digit blocks now. Stanford was finally able to get it past the block and then there at the very last second, Corelli and Morin team up to end the rally. Although Kevin Hambly thinks maybe should be a point for the card. Or not. He had the, he had the challenge card. He was, he was thinking ready. about it. He was thinking about it. Possibly wanting to be a little strategic here in the fifth set. Stanford still leading by two as Annie Cook moves to serve. Back set, Baird. Over to Sauer. Back corner, she finds it. The Cougars within one. Stanford has not left that back corner vacant a lot tonight. The one time they do, Kenna Sauer located it. Over to Kip. 
Tries the tip. Can't handle it off the net. It's tied up here in the fifth. Yeah, I want to see Kendall Kip go and really swing on that one. I don't want to see her try and go with a little bit of a tip shot over. I want to see her rear back let her rip go through that block. And again, it's coming to play here for Houston. Two of the last three points. And Banu with the block, 11 on the day now for Houston. The back set to Mbanu, who's stuffed. Kendall Kip and the Kenna Vicini answer. Vicini's been great at the net all night long. Six total blocks for her. Kendall Kip getting involved with her fourth of the night as well. Nine on the day for Stanford. Baird serving. Off the top of the net. Mbanu stuffed again. Vicini and Kip on the other side this time. Big time players deliver in big time spots. And you're seeing that from Kendall Kip here in this fifth set. Double digit blocks. 73 kills on the night. That is 20 more compared to Houston in total in this match. Jackson Long, back to back to back points for the Cardinal. Stanford starting to get in a groove on this one. Yeah, and when you're up by three in the fifth set, knowing you only played a 15, that's a, a much larger gap than it would be in a normal 25 point set. So momentum definitely on the Stanford side, but the one thing we've seen here tonight is that both of these teams have been as resilient as ever. And if Houston can just channel in a couple more blocks, they'll give their Houston faithful something to cheer about. The importance of defense has been clear. Stanford hitting under 100. Houston in the negative in this set. Pair of blocks for each. Sauer. The wall built by Kip and Vicini once more. <laughs> I mean, all of a sudden, you just can't get it past Kendall Kip. I mean, we know, we know the size that she has. We know her athletic ability. But it seems like as this match has gone on, she's gotten better. And like she's not wearing down like everybody else. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. She is second on the team in kills with 16, but now second on the team in blocks <laughs> with six, just behind Vicini with eight. Cardinal leading by four. I mean, it's just, it's it's so impressive to watch someone like Kendall Kip come into the office and just do what she does best to well her team back to back to a lead. And just look at this again. I mean, she there's nowhere, there's absolutely nowhere for Sauer to go with that attack. She tried to go to the side, get it past her, but just too much off that right arm of Kendall Kip. And now the Stanford block is kind of imitating what Houston's been doing the last couple of sets. The experience at an advantage for Stanford. They have nine national championships as a program. They had 135 NCAA wins coming in to this tournament, make it 136 after yesterday. 17 national championship matches they've played in and 23 Final Fours. That all leads the nation. So when you have that kind of experience in your back pocket, you can be a little bit more relaxed and in control in these tough situations. Yeah, how about the only time this program didn't make it to the NCAA tournament? There was this thing called a global pandemic <laughs> that prevented them from being there. That's 42 how good, out of 43, you're That's right. how good this program is. Cardinal lead the Cougars by four. Baird back at the line. Sauer, big dig by Oglevy. Miner cross to Rubin. Recovered by Oglevy. Rubin again off the block. Stanford gets another one. Double digits for the card. And getting a little bit lucky there as well. You'll see once it's returned after that great dig by Oglevy, that one touch right there from Annie Cook 
She's just going up to try and make a play, not realizing that right behind her is Abby Jackson, who was in position. Baird again. Miscommunication a little bit. Free ball here for the card. Miner over to Ruben, slams it down. That back corner has become Ruben's best friend. I mean, I mean, what else can you say about the night of Elia Rubin tying a career high with 21 kills on a team that has Kendall Kipp and Katie Barrett? <laughs> she has been the dog tonight. Barrett again. Sauer, big swing, and she answers. Houston climbing back. And she's been the dog on Houston's side all night as well. Now 24 kills, closing in on a season high for her. She's one dig away from a double-double as well. They need her big time here down the stretch. Over to Rubin. The other back corner. Elia Rubin gets it done. And a new career high for Elia Rubin when the team needs her the most in an NCAA tournament match against a great defensive team like Houston. And it looks like Houston is uh, challenging whether that was in or out over there in the corner. Not a bad decision to challenge whether that's in or out just because at this point, you know, it is so late in the fifth set. Looks yeah. like it's in to me. L looking at that replay, I'd say it's pretty clearly in, but what you are able to do here if you're David Rare is you're basically using it as a timeout, right? right? You have the opportunity now to try and rally the troops a little bit, get a game plan together for these last few points and try some last ditch effort to salvage this fifth set. Great angle from our production crew, able to capture that. And it's confirmed the point stays with Stanford. They're still leading 12 to 6. And Elia Rubin, by the way, the 22 kills, the 12 digs on the night for a double double. <laughs> She's been all over the place and now leading Stanford this year in double doubles. It's incredible. You wouldn't have thought that going into the season <laughs> with the talent that Stanford has. Set, quick one off the block. Cardinal recovering, but some contact at the net. Ogilvy and Rubin collided. Point goes to the Cougars. Bit of a break for Houston. Absolutely. They definitely catch a break as a couple of Stanford players, Ogilvy, one of them sliding underneath the net. I don't think there was ever any contact with the net, but they just slid under it. And Well, you can't do that. So <laughs> The contact between the two of them at minimum. Yes. So Houston's Georgiatis now at the service line. Over to Rubin again. Attempts the tip, tools the block. Elia Rubin is on fire. I mentioned earlier that Kendall Kipp was the one coming to play. Best players coming alive at the biggest moments. Well, right now that's Elia Rubin. I mean, she's literally taken over this fifth set. Kip with the serve, nearly an ace. Jackson off the block. Miscommunication again, right at the net. Sammy Francis touches it over. <laughs> she did that with ease. Yeah, just a little flick of the wrist, right? <laughs> and all of a sudden, set point on the way for Stanford. What a night it's been. Match point for the Cardinal here. Sauer, and it's shut down. Sammy Francis and Elia Rubin end the fifth set. Stanford takes it 15 to seven. What a five set thriller between these two squads. You know, Jenna, it's only fitting that it would be the block that comes into play in the fifth set for Stanford. They rack up four blocks in that fifth set. They outblock Houston on the night 12 to 11 with so many of those blocks coming late. 
Elia Rubin taking over 23 kills, 12 digs, two stuffs at the net, but gives so much credit to Houston and what they were able to do here tonight. I mean, listen, to get down two sets to none like they did, especially after that first set, and to come back to improve defensively, keep up offensively with what Stanford was doing, and force a fifth set, this is a really good Houston squad. And I know they're gonna lose a lot of players with four graduate students on this roster, but I think the future is still very bright for what they're doing. Houston ends their season 19 and 10. What a year they have had tied for fourth in the Big 12 in their first year. But the Cardinal coming out on top. They are undefeated in five set matches this season. And this was a big one. They move on to host the regional rounds next week back here at Maples on the journey to their 10th national championship. And so many big plays over the course of the night, right? We talked ad nauseum about Elia Rubin, but Kendall Kipp playing a role, Katie Baird playing a role, Sammy Francis and McKenna Vicini in the first set were borderline unstoppable for Stanford. But then Houston, just incredible resolve to fight their way back into the match. Kenneth Sauer, 24 kills on the night. 24 kills, Jackson right behind her with 15. They were a two-headed monster. And then you had Ruben leading the way, but Kendall Kipp and Baird with 16 apiece. The team hit 401 together. That's the Cardinal. They will be back here at Maples. Thank you for joining us on behalf of our crew. I'm Jenna Becerra alongside Brian Brownfield, and it's postseason volleyball continues.